Day number two. Let's see what what happens. Wake up. Oh, that was the whiskey. Hey, wake up. I'm awake, woman. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. No, oh, no. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Okay. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't <laughs> like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, alright. <laughs> Just throw in bleach, okay. Can I, um... We're gonna save it. I am one great looking man. Hey, look at that face. That is a face of a beautiful man. Don't just... Just throw it on the ground, why don't you? Got a bundle of fireworks and everything like that. Alright. Let's turn off the lights and let's go. Ah. <sighs> Run a done done, let's go down the hole. And it was back by the lighthouse, I believe, yeah. Yeah, the lighthouse is where I was at, so. We, uh. Uh, the outhouse is gross today, and it will be gross forever. Well, all the bacteria die during the winter, so anything you smell and don't like in there is your own brand, just so you know. <laughs> Ugh. Well, then I'm a disgusting animal. Got a baseball. Bear tooth point, okay. That That is the worst throw I've ever seen. Want to watch it roll. Ah, physics. I love game mechanic physics. It just keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm gonna take the baseball with me. <laughs> Cause I'm an idiot. Maybe I can throw it at a bear or something. Wait a second. Oh, guess I moved it. I'm gonna throw it at that cave. It's gone. Forever gone. Yay. Okay. Let's go down to the cave. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. 
sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Uh huh. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex. Sorry, I I don't mean to pry. Let's um. Who was that? Who was who? I I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Okay. She walked out for a moment. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's almost... Yeah, she's annoyed. God damn, I'm annoyed too. Why are you talking about me? Alright, she said to keep north. Right? So I'm this way. And I just gotta keep heading north this way, okay. Alright. Um, let's actually take this side path here. Look, I need someone that I can trust out here. That That's kind of the whole thing. Oh, okay. Here's the power lines. So, um... I guess let's follow it. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Too bad I can't say like I'm sorry or something, but you freaked me out. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Cuz I'm out here with you. Wait a second. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up, Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down <laughs> on your watch. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Yeah. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Copy that. This is just walking simulator. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. I see it. Right over this way. See a supply chest as well. Can I climb up this thing? I probably can't. Not yet, at least. Alright, so... What? Oh! Oh, that's a leaf. Okay. 
I was um a little scared there. Hey, so there are beer cans all over the ground up here leading up the hill. That's annoying. Yeah, thing is, there were a bunch down at that campsite yesterday. Coincidence, maybe? I don't think so. Same brand, everything. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Mm. <sighs> Well, I guess we can just follow the trail of beer. Follow the trail. Right. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's <laughs> not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Well, no one's going to find out. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. <laughs> yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. I'll find him. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> really Great. big. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Well, I can just follow the trash. Let's pick up all the trash. Damn kids. Brood in Wyoming. All right, let's um let's go. Long trip. Okay. Um I guess we'll take this left. Right. Oh, oh, this is a fork in the road here. Um, two forks, the warfare. Basin supply drop. Alright, let's go back to the lake. Check and see if they're back at the lake. Hello. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin. Oh, ow. My eyes. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? 
The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. <sighs> what, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. <laughs> anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. <laughs> well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Okay. Four. One, two, three, four. Best one ever. Oh, I didn't copy the information from that other one. Oh, I should probably do that. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check the new guy, check out the new guy at Two Forks, and heard him talking to himself more than usual for lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself at the, at the hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the cream de la cream. Let's toast a Deb at the spot. Ron. 61686. Okay. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Hmm. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Hmm. True, true that. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. Alright. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. All right. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay. Let's head out that way. Okay. Ooh. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack? Me, flapjack? <laughs> you know, like a loser. A chotch. I really don't, but I do now. <laughs> well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> sure. Call that beautiful. Um, oh. She's a real character. Hey. No. Oh. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <sighs> Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? 
I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I'm actually married. But you're here. <sighs> She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, <sighs> you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Wow. So you kind of need to. On top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm such a smartass. All right. Um, smoke. Still no. I don't know where the smoke went, but okay. Guess we're gonna head up the mountain here. Ooh, we got music finally. Some ominous music. It is really nice, like, um, scenery. I guess is the best word to call it. Can't clear that yet. I guess we'll get that later. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> Jonesy Lake. Okay. So is that smoke still there? Oh, okay. Smoke is this way. Yeah, it's down towards the, uh, down towards the lake. Alright. Let's head down this way. I want to try and scare him. Is steep. <laughs> I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday. <laughs> you ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Literally. I survived. That's good, right? I survived it. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Wait, where am I going? Okay, so I'm right here, Five Mile Creek. Okay, yeah, I do have to go this way. <coughs> mm, excuse me. I had to cough. Oh, motion blur. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, 
dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. <sighs> Copy the map. Let's get that going. Missing persons. Okay. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! Uh. So. Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. You said Ned didn't get mauled by a grizzly, but it's possible, right? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. <laughs> okay. Just walking around in a forest for some weird reason. Don't even necessarily know where I'm at anymore. Kinda lost. Missing persons. Mitch Michaels, 31, 6'2, 165, short brown hair. Kinda looks like me. Okay. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Okay, I see the stream right here. So I guess I just follow the stream then. Oh, maybe back this way, okay. Ah, path. Just follow the path and you'll never get lost. Actually, yes you will. Got turned around. Literally. 
Okay, let's just follow the path. Let's not take off the beaten path here. I want to find these girls. over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. There's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Okay, I thought I saw the smoke. I'm thinking they're gonna be under here. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Mm-hmm. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... I'm gonna kill... Um, no, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Okay. Hang on. Q. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy we're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is, is gross out. Okay. That's not good English there, buddy. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer or so going to jail. Or and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Alright. Oh, well, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? Henry, did you <laughs> attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? No. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. <laughs> this is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yes, yeah, so would I. 